welcome back. So glad you made it. Chris here. And today's another tutorial on how to create textured illustrations. I'm going to start by sketching out a very cute little bear and then adding some textures by using different paint effects, digital and scan, texture overlays, and some patterns. So I hope you enjoy. So I'm starting off in Procreate with my 6B pencil. It's one of my favorites. And of course, sketching a circle and sort of establishing my little character here. He's going to be a bear. And um, I'm going to do him in a three-quarter three quarter angle. So doing a little body, a little feet and legs, just sort of getting an idea of the proportions that I'd like to start with. And see, I'm curled up on my blanket. Cozy. It's cold here. Here is I'm going to make some, get his ears going and get his snout. And we obviously I can't put his face there. That was a mistake and um, get his nose protruding a little bit so it's more of a bear shape. And that looks better. And we'll just make sure his ears are right here. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just defining the lines a little bit more, just really solidifying those shapes. And obviously I want him to look quite juvenile, so hence the very oversized proportions of a giant head. A big head usually makes things cute. It's not a hard fast rule. Nothing is really. And now I'm just again, his body seems a little bit too small, so I'm just gonna see if that works better. I think so. Let's get him some little boots. Why not? It's a rainy day, so I'm feeling like, yeah, we'll just make this a rainy day bear. Why not? Give him a little umbrella. And I'm just going for my brain here, so this umbrella really isn't working <laughs> very well. But that's okay. Just gotta, this is all the working it out stage. We'll see if that's a better angle. Eh, not quite right, but we can come back to that. Some little details. Little left. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna make him hold him right now. Let's make him hold something. A butterfly. Eh. Maybe not. How about yeah, no, it's still not quite working for me. Okay. Mm. Let's see. Sleep going a bit. Let's make it a little birdie. That's way cuter. A birdie friend. And of course, just establishing shapes. I want to play with um, proportions to the relation of the size of the bear to the size of the bird. This makes it a little bit more interesting. I like to zoom in and out a lot. I'm sorry if that's super annoying. <laughs> it makes it look weird, but I just find that I can, I need to see close up, then I need to step back for a second and see what it looks like. So here we go, let's fix this umbrella. I wasn't too thrilled with that. It actually helps. I'm actually looking at a reference photo of what an umbrella looks like, which <laughs> is always a good idea. It's really, there we go. See, that's better shape already. Yeah, before it was looking like one of those umbrellas that you stick in your cocktail. <laughs> Okay, references are always handy when you're doing things that are real, <laughs> like an umbrella. So, there, that's so much better. Give it a little resize. Okay, so let's add some more details to this guy. I'm gonna put a little pocket. Oh, there's kind of a froggy in there. Again, detail and size and things like that. 
Oh, that's cute. I like that. Get some background. Oops. Getting the lines in the coat. This is still my rough sketch. I'm really just wanting to get everything right with my rough sketch, and then it just makes everything easier after. I do a lot of erasing. That's why I love um, I love working in Procreate because it's just so simple to erase and edit what you're doing. You have to redraw everything. It doesn't get too messy, so you can really keep cleaning it up while you go. I, uh, I'm just so enjoying what kind of freedoms you have with that. So I will actually use my pencil and then also erase like I'm trying to perfect the shapes of things. You can see that. these boots up higher because that'll look cute oh I like that yeah yeah that's better not having that break in between just makes it simpler sometimes simpler is better even though you know me I do love detail but um, also sometimes keeping it simple and just a really clean clear lines and clear shapes is really where that really works better so I turned down the opacity on my sketch layer and now I'm going to go over and do my good copy here so I am still, still trying to keep it sketchy because again this is all about texture so I don't want it too smooth too clean this is again using my 6b pencil and just still having a sketchy line just not quite as messy as my rough and I'm just going over tracing my work here there and now and there's the cleaned up version so I'm gonna go in and color like a kindergartner basically again with my 6b it really is my favorite um, I'm just gonna go in and literally color in and yes you're thinking why don't you just fill it I know it would be simpler and far less time consuming but I find that this I mean you can see that's it's just way different texture so it's just the preference on the look that I'm going for today I'm using a dry brush to go in and use the uh, do another couple of little details on the coat start to create that fabric look and give it some again, detail. 6B, I'm gonna make a little pattern here. I'm gonna do this sort of a stripey, no, I'm probably gonna do it more like a plaid look. So yeah, there we go. Adding some more detail there. And we will another color do another layer I love to use lots of layers just so that I have as much options as possible I really like that's again what I love about procreate um, I can change my mind I like to change my mind a lot shocking I know women's prerogative and all that <laughs> but, um, that's nice just to be able to to play and um, you know just explore and make make decisions and, and not not regret it <laughs> these features a bit and keeping everything really sketchy boots I am going to do a different technique I'm going to outline them here just by coloring them in and then I'm going to use the freehand selection tool to go in and go throughout about in the middle of that line and then I'm going to fill so that way and so you actually can see that there's a little bit that was missing so I'm just going to fill that up that way you still have like the outside line is more sketchy and then the center is felt. So that's another way of doing it as well. You're not gonna get the background water or the white showing through, but but it's yeah, it's 
so it looks good. You can do some texture over top. Now we're doing shadowing here, and I like to use my, uh, what is it called? Oh yeah, doing some shadowing here, and I use my favorite for shadows, which is the gouache. Um, gouache pens are paintbrush, and I always find that nice for shadows. I like it. And 6B to do some more shadowing, shading, coming in. Again, really getting that texture. You can see very textury. I know it's a ridiculous word. I know it's not real. All right, the medium nozzle spray paint. I do like this too when you're doing things that are furry and just giving a little highlight there. Oh, now we're back into the frog. Color him in. Looks a little nervous, hoping it's so high. Little highlights, little shadow. Bring him to life. Get that third colored in. Give him some detail and some shadows. A little bit more detail, a little furry detail. And get this umbrella. Let's give it some patterns with some little flowers. And then I'm gonna go in to a different document. See, I did this twice already. Um, so I'm going to open up a new document and I'm going to show you how to do some digital textures. So I'm going to go and find my paintbrush here. Which one am I going to use? Um, let's do the dry brush. Yeah. So just in a grayscale, um, just going to put a bunch of lines on the page. Yeah, basically just make that texture. I'm going to do another layer. I'm going to do a few here. Have them prepped. I'm gonna go and get, let's see, the damp brush. And again, in grayscale, just make a bunch of lines, make a bunch of texture. Good stuff. Let's go to another layer. And let's see, we use old brush. Now that's good. Okay, make a bunch of lines. Boop, boop, boo. And I think this might work well for the grass, I'm thinking. And I'm gonna go over, actually change the color here and put some white over top too, just for variety. Then I'm going to copy, to click on there, if I can get the on there, just one layer at a time. And I'm gonna select that layer and copy. Go back into my project here. I'm going to paste it. So now that's on a separate layer. I'm going to rotate it and shrink it down a bit. And um, I'm going to clip it, do a clipping mask, and multiply. So if you just click on just click on the layer and then hit clipping mask that'll attach it to or just put it in what's on the layer below so that umbrella so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate that layer then turn it off and then actually erase part of it I just want it in this one section it's actually more for it to be orientated to the direction of the umbrella so and then I'm gonna take the one that I turned off and duplicate it and well, actually, I'm going to turn it and then I'm going to duplicate it again. So I have another one and turn it off. And then erase all the other parts. So that. that one goes in the direction of that panel. It's kind of a quick and dirty way of doing it. There we go. I just wanted the texture to follow the line of, of the actual umbrella. 
And I'm just gonna play with the opacity, I don't want it too dark. Here we go. This last section here. And that just gives it a little bit more interest, I think.
that was a bit of a long one, but I hope you enjoyed it and found some tips and tricks along the way, or just enjoyed watching, relaxing, why not? And if you haven't already, check out in the description below. There's lots of links there and some free goodies and whatnot. And also subscribe, it really helps me out and I'd love to get to know you better. Leave me a comment, let me know what videos you'd like to see, and I will try my best to help you out. So I hope you have a great day. Love you guys, appreciate all your support. Hope to see you soon. Take care.